on YouTube, this is the PSP video show and today I'm going to be telling you how to record your PSP screen to your PSP. Okay, first you have to go to this link here. I'll leave it in the description. Open your browser. And um, paste it in the URL bar. and hit enter okay now just wait uh, five seconds and uh, skip the ad and um, then you will be directed to a media file link And uh, I just want to ask you guys, um, would you want me to do walkthroughs with commentary or without commentary? So tell me in the comments below. And uh, wait till this loads. Okay, here we go. Uh, now you've got this file here. You want to click download the screen button. It's only 488 KB, so it's nothing big. And uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, you will need um, WinRAR to uh, to um, uh, open this file. So yeah, it's, uh, download, save it. There we go. It's already done. Okay, just uh, double click and open it up. And uh, exit. Windows. Alright, here we go. Um, okay, now click on the folder and extract it to the desktop. Okay, so uh, click the folder, go to drivers, then pick which driver you're on. This is for 32 bit, and this is for 64 bit. Uh, I have a six. Uh, sorry, thirty-two bit, and uh, you want to click this here. Okay. Um. So once you click PSP driver, um, you can exit out of that, and this should pop up. Welcome to PSP Type B installer. So it should be like this: a, a picture of a PSP, and uh, click next. Um. Accept. Next. Okay, there you go, it's installed now, um, ready to use. So, yeah, click finish. Okay, um, now plug in your PSP and go to USB connection. Okay, now I go to uh, my computer. Okay, um, here is PSP, double click it, okay, uh, let it load, okay, now create a folder called uh, C plugins, um, then open it, and now uh, you want to go to the, fol the folder, the downloaded file, the remote joy light, and now, uh, see this folder here? Just uh, copy all of these files, like so, and uh, paste it here. Click paste. I'm not going to do it because I already have all these files here. Okay, that's okay. Now that's done. Now you want to um, take out your PSP, and I'll show you the rest of the. Um, uh, tutorial on the PSP. Okay, um, once you're on your PSP, you wanna go to your memory stick, and you wanna make sure you activate um, uh, your custom firmware. Okay, once you do that, you wanna click select, then you wanna go to recovery menu, and uh, go to 
plugins then make sure all these are enabled to enable them just click uh, X on these um, files so as you can see they're all enabled and back and click reset VSH okay after you do that um, uh, you will uh, actually I'll just do it now recovery menu reset VSH so I click that so yeah um, it's just uh, booting up Okay, there we go. Um, I'll show you the final step on my computer. Okay, um, now that you've done all the hard work, you just want to go to Remote Joy Lite. Uh, you want to go to GUI. And then um, click Remote Joy Lite, this one here, application. Double click that. And exit out of that. Okay, here we go, uh, just make it a bit bigger, and now plug in your PSP, let me just plug it in, okay, there we go, now that it's plugged in, it, it um, as you can see, it works fine, it might, yeah, uh, you could see a bit of lag right now maybe because I'm recording the whole screen. Uh, if you want to record um, your gameplay or whatever, like I do, uh, you just want to download a screen or download a screen recorder um, off the internet. Um, I recommend Bandicam or Snagit. They're pretty good, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Now you're recording from your PSP to your computer, and yeah, so. And thanks for watching this video, please leave a thumbs up, my last tutorial got 30 likes, that was really awesome, um, be sure to like and subscribe for more awesome walkthroughs, and if you have any trouble with your PSP, please leave a comment below, and I might reply to it with a video like this, so yeah, thank you, and subscribe.